Kong Yu and to the Faculty of Arts. My name is John. I'm a professor in the History Department. I'm also an Associate Dean in the Faculty of Arts. If you've seen the video on our website, you will know that I have the best job of any Associate Dean because my job is to get you out of the classroom. Let me just start by giving a very brief rundown of what's going to happen in this session. The session itself will last for about 30 to 45 minutes, uh, although I will only be with you for about 10 of these minutes. I'll start by giving you a very brief overview of what we offer to our students. Then you will join one of the three chat sessions where you will get firsthand information from our students. In each of these groups, you will see what our students and ambassadors are studying. Uh, Zoom links will be available then at the end for you to talk to them in greater depth. Now, we're fortunate to have three student ambassadors today. We have uh, Ms. Kelly Jam, who is in Group A. Group A is Comparative Literature, Philosophy, Psychology, Art History, and Japanese Studies. We have also group, for Group B, Ms. Wing Lamlo. Uh, group B includes Translation and Geography, Chinese language and culture, Chinese history and culture, Chinese language and literature and English studies, translation plus English studies. And then in group C, we have Mei Chan. Group C includes English studies and global creative industries, general linguistics, music, language and communication, and, uh, and music. I'm going to ask each of them to introduce themselves very briefly here. Perhaps we could start with, with Kelly. Could, would you mind introducing yourself, Kelly? Oh, hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I'm, I just graduated from the University of Hong Kong and I was studying in comparative literature. And out of class experience, I have uh, internship and exchange and et cetera, or like some communities. So feel free to ask more, um, I mean, in the later session. Thank you. And Kelly, what are you doing now that you've graduated? Um, I'm still like trying to find a job, but I've got some job over, oh. but I'm still confusing like the path, which path should I choose? So I'm just still thinking. Okay, good. We like confusion in the Faculty of Arts. Yeah. I've been working for 30 years and I'm still confused. <laughs> okay. And uh, Wing Lam Lo in uh, Group B, would you mind introducing yourself briefly? Hello, my name is uh, Lo Wing Lam, and you can call me Winnie. And my major are uh, Chinese language and literature, and also uh, Chinese history and culture. And I have uh, been to Korean, uh, Korea to uh, have an internship, and then I also went to uh, China to have a summer school and also uh, cultural visits. Yeah, Great. if you have any question, you can ask me in the next session. Thank you. Great. So uh, Winnie is a, a living example of how to get out of the classroom. That's wonderful. Thank you. And uh, May from Group C, please. Hi, everyone. I'm May. I also recently graduated from the Faculty of Arts at HKU. I majored in linguistics and music, and I minored in German. Um, some of the out-of-classroom activities I had include going to linguistics conferences in Japan, um, going to a linguistics field trip to Greece, and going on an exchange study to UC Davis in America. Okay, great, thank you. Um, and May, what are you doing now that you've graduated? I am currently a PhD student in linguistics at the University of Pennsylvania. Oh, in, uh, are, you, are you actually there in Philadelphia right now, or are you back here in Hong Kong? I'm still in Hong Kong. Okay. I'm taking classes. Yeah. Okay. Well, we hope you can get out of Hong Kong uh, to, to Philadelphia at some point. Great. Okay. Our out of the classroom experience includes or consists of five main components. Uh, and the main thing you should keep in mind is that all of these components are interrelated. I'll start just by going over very briefly what is involved with the internship. We have very d different possibilities. One is a credit-bearing internship. You'll learn later on from the student ambassadors what, what credit-bearing means. We also have capstone programs. And then we have internships that are non-credit-bearing. The idea behind the internship is basically to help you get a job, right? To, to make it even easier. Uh, to enhance your employability skills, uh, we offer internships with a wide range of industries, and we keep regular updates for openings in uh, 
these internships. The second component is career, right? A job at some point. And our philosophy here is that we try to do this as you go along, right? Starting in your first year, even though you don't know exactly what you want to do, but to try to start getting you thinking about four years later, getting a job. We offer regular updates in career trends. Uh, we also are organizing talks with our alumni who can kind of tell you what they did to get their job. In fact, we've already got uh, two alumni here who can, can give you some advice in this, this, this aspect. The third category is exchange. And I think in many ways, this is the part that uh, many students like the most. Uh, our goal is to get you out of Hong Kong. As you may know, this is a bit harder to do right now um, with, with the pandemic. We do hope that very, very soon, I don't know how soon we'll be soon, but we do hope to get you out uh, somewhere. The great thing about this is, first of all, it involves no deferment of study. In other words, you're with us for four years, even if you go away for one semester or for a full year. This, the, this is a credit-bearing exchange, which means you, you'll basically get the same number of credits as if you were taking your courses here at Hong Kong U. No extra tuition fees, and again, you can do this for one semester or for one year outside of Hong Kong. Exchange is a, usually a longer experience, either one semester or for a full year, but we also have field trips. All right? These are not quite the same field trips that you took in, in secondary school, where you go away for the afternoon and you come back, right? This is a, a longer experience. It's more intensive. It's specific to the course you're taking. So for example, if you're taking a course on history, I happen to be in the history department, you might uh, go to a historical site in Hong Kong for a day or maybe even two, sometimes maybe somewhere even for a week. We also have various cultural exchange field trips. Many of these uh, are in, in mainland China, but also in Taiwan and other places. Finally, we have support for this. We know that going away from Hong Kong can be expensive. So we have scholarships. We have the Faculty Global Exploration Fund, which you can learn more about from our website. This is a way to uh, you basically get money to help you go away. We have various subsidies. We also have information sessions. In fact, next week we were having information sessions for our first and second year students to tell them about what we can do to help get them on an exchange program in 2021 or 2022. And then as students are getting ready to leave, we have pre-departure briefings just to help make sure they get off to the right, on the right track. I want to just say very briefly here too that we do hope that you will follow us on Facebook. You will get in touch with us. You can either send us emails, you can look at our website, you can in fact even come to the, the Hong Kong U to the Faculty of Arts to, to talk to us. But we very much hope that you will come and talk to us in one way or another, either physically or virtually. I want to then end by giving you the links, I think some of you already have these, the meeting IDs for our three different sessions. You will see the passcodes are the same for each one. At this point, our students will start to log out, our student ambassadors will start to log out from the webinar and they will start to log into the Zoom chat rooms. Please ask lots of questions today. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy your visit to the Faculty of Arts. And I hope to see you all at Hong Kong U next year. Thanks again.